Good evening. It's Monday, Monday evening. We've made it through the start of the week. Thank goodness. Just scraped through, I have to say, with the daylight today at work. Anyway, let's backtrack slightly. So obviously yesterday was Sunday. Took a little bit of a break yesterday. Did things at my own pace. Um, I couldn't be bothered doing any uh, blogs yesterday. There was nothing new to say, really. And also, I kind of wanted a break from being in front of the camera. And that's fine. I just can't quite believe that we're already at Monday evening. The weeks are moving past so quickly. And I think because I'm doing these daily vlogs and publishing publishing them weekly, it sort of really marks the passage of time. Whether that makes it feel as though it's moving more quickly, I don't know. But yeah, it just seems to be speeding past. So yesterday was quite pleasant. Um, thank you for all your comments on the uh, daily vlogs and Sunday chat. Thank you. Thank you. You're all very sweet. And it means a lot to us as well. It really does. Um, so, yeah, it was a pleasant day. Um, took it fairly easy, although by some people's standards, I was probably still very busy. Um, just doing chores, you know, bits and pieces. But the house was tidy and clean. I had a lovely hot bath. And that was quite welcome. Um, you know, had a few bits of relaxation here and there. Our friend came over for dinner around six o'clock and that was fun. She stayed for a couple of hours, which was lovely. But today has been oh, just so busy at work. Uh, my boss had given me a few extra tasks to do because we've got a couple of people off work at the moment. Uh, one member of staff is off sick, another is on leave, and they both work for the health team. I work for both teams, but they work for health. So there were some jobs to do, uh, mainly the printing off of letters to be sent out. Now, normally this is done with an electronic system um, where the letters can be uploaded and put onto the system and then sent from a central point. Now, I have access to a similar system, but it's the social care side of things. So my boss said, can you not use that system and send all the letters out on that? I said, well, not really, because I'd have to change the letterhead, reformat each of the letters, and it's going to take me forever to do. I said, the best way to get these letters out is to do it the old fashioned way, print them out, get some stamps and just send them through the Royal Mail. So I realised that we had hardly any stamps. So I had to go to the post office, take half an hour out of my day, which was fine. Took the phone with me. Um, then had to print out all of these letters and reports package them in envelopes, put the stamps on, hand write each of the envelopes. And there was a total, it doesn't sound a lot, but there was a total of 23 of these to do. And you have to be careful because you've got multiple letters going out to uh, different people. So you've got, you know, letters that are CC'd to parents and doctors and things like that. So you have to kind of be very organised. Um, and this took me the best part of four hours to do. Um, and then I had my job to do as well. Um, and a load of uploading and document work to do. And I've still got a load of stuff outstanding. So it's just been incredibly busy. And this is what happens when colleagues are off 
other people, we have to work as a team. So other people have to pick other pieces of work up. We don't have enough staff. That's the upshot of it. We don't have enough admin staff. I know I'm, I sound like I'm whinging about it, and I am a little bit. Um, but it's just been incredibly full. Incredibly full on day. Um, but I've... I did at one point feel like just running in the opposite direction and going, no, I can't manage this. But I got myself together, got my shit together. And once you kind of expect something and know what to expect, it's kind of OK because you can organise yourself and say, OK, I accept I'm going to have some extra work to do. Now I know what that work is and what that entails. That's OK blah, 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 and you sort of set yourself up to the challenge. But when it's kind of, I don't know, just put on to you by surprise, and it's kind of a large volume of work, you're like, how the hell am I going to fit this in? But you do, you adjust, you whinge a little bit, you complain a little bit, but nobody likes a whinging employee, really. Nobody does. So I don't, I try not to do that too much. I'm quite select about who I whine to at work. Um, so, I mean, you know, on the plus side, it's been a very varied day of work. And there's probably more of that to come this week. So I'm just going to get on. Luckily, one of the members of staff are back on Wednesday. So they'll be able to pick up a portion of this work. Um, but we'll share it. We'll share the load. That's what you have to do when you work as a team, even though it's a very depleted team, I have to say. Yeah, but, you know, I like to get things done. I don't like there to be outstanding work at the end of the day. And there is today. There's about nine outstanding items that I'll have to get onto in the morning. I like to finish the day and round it off. I like completion at the end of the day, just like I like a tidy desk at the end of the day. My desk is always tidy. We have to. We have to make sure there is nothing out on our desks, no confidential documents, nothing it has to be tidy and, and finished. So, yeah, that's been today few. But I'm home. Paul had a cup of tea waiting for me when I got in. Uh, Weather-wise today, it's been changeable. There's been some sunshine. There have been some showers. It was kind of a bit drizzly when I left work. In the dark now. It's an odd noise. Oh, I think it's Paul having a shave. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. That's my day. I think some serious chilling out this evening with some lovely TV is in order. So I hope you all had a good day. And I will see you tomorrow for more fun frolics. It's going to be more of the same, I'm quite sure. Me banging on about work. I hope to bring some variety to the table this week, but probably not because it's a full week at work for me. Yeah. Hey ho, what can you do? Just in the wor in the words of Tina Turner, you keep your mind on the money. Do you guess which song that's from? Answers on a postcard. Take care, Toodle Pip. Hi, it's Tuesday, Tuesday evening. It's turned cooler, much cooler out there. And it seemed so dark when I left work, just so dark. The moon was out. The sky was slightly pale in the distance towards the, the sunset. It just seemed dark and cold and damp, unpleasant. What's it been like today at work? Well, it's been not as frantic, 
thank goodness. Yeah, it's been a little bit of a weird day today at work because there's been quite a few triggering things for me. Um, quite a few emotional situations with people. You know, a lot of things pass by me um, that aren't particularly pleasant. I've said this before. So, um, yeah, I just felt, yeah, just slightly emotional about a couple of things. And I think what tends to happen is your compassion levels rise when you work in social care and health. Um, but you have to sort of rationalise it as well. You know, you've got to remind yourself that you work in this industry. You've, you know, I've worked in this industry for a long time, 16 years. So, you know, I'm, I'm used to sort of hearing and seeing things that aren't great. But today it just sort of got to me a little bit. But that's okay. It's fine. Um, yeah, nothing much else to report. Just cold, dark and damp. <laughs> it's winter. It's winter now. I know we're still in autumn, but it feels like winter. Feels like winter is marching on, as they say. Um, yeah. We're going to eat shortly. We're having an omelette this evening. So uh, that'll be nice. I think Paul's making that now. I can hear beeping noises in the kitchen. So, yeah, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Morning. It's Wednesday morning. Is it Wednesday morning? Is it? Yes, it is. <sighs> I know, my hair, it's crazy. Um, we just had a beautiful sunrise. So here's a little bit of footage for you. You may have seen the photograph on uh, social media. It was a cold night. Uh, quite a bit of condensation this morning on the windows. Um, and I woke up just before the alarm went off. I got up earlier to go to the loo. Um, but then I woke up with the alarm, so, and it was sort of really dark. And I just thought to myself, it's at this time of year that the futility of changing the clocks a few weeks ago, three weeks ago, whatever it is, just becomes apparent because it's getting dark anyway now, early, you know, it's dark. Why bother? You know, and Paul said, well, it's about getting the last bit of the harvest in. I said, well, yeah, but these days they've got electric lights on vehicles. They can have spotlights on farms. They don't need to do that by the natural light. I'd rather have a lighter evening, really. I know, whinging again. So yeah, I'm going to drink my tea and wake up properly and then I've got to do something with this hair because <laughs> it's sticking out everywhere. Oh, hey ho, I'll see you later. Good evening, Wednesday evening. Boy, it's been a busy day at work today. I've just, well, I've not just come in, I came in from work. I decided to do a little bit of a midweek clean around, a vacuum and a dust, to also help me decompress from the day. Because it's been, it's been an incredibly frustrating afternoon. There was an issue that happened. I can't go into detail, obviously, um, but it involved two parties meeting up to do a home visit. One of those parties was the police. And basically the two parties couldn't find each other. One party was accusing the other party of not being there. I couldn't get hold of the other party because they didn't have a mobile phone on my records. No trace of their mobile phone number. The manager didn't have their mobile phone number either. That needs to be addressed. 
Um, so I couldn't get hold of them to solve the issue because the issue could have been solved because I found out after the fact that the police were at the wrong location. It was so frustrating because I could have solved the issue. And yeah, it was just really, really annoying for such a, you know, simple thing to make a call to a mobile phone that would have solved it. Anyway, move on, move on. These things happen sometimes. Nobody's to blame. We try not to do that in our profession. We try not to pin the blame on people because it's not helpful. When something goes wrong, people feel bad enough as it is, you know, that people's time has been wasted, etc., etc. Anywho. Uh, yeah, it's just been busy. It feels like this week is a bit of a, a sort of downer week. There are things not going according to plan and that's fine. That's the way it works. That's life. You can't fix everything. Things don't according, go according to plan. Things don't go smoothly. You know, things go wrong. It's the way of life. But it just takes a while to sort of come down from all that frustration and annoyance and raised blood pressure. Yeah. What happened that was good today? I had a good conversation with a client that really bolstered their self-confidence which was good um just chit chat really but i pointed out a few things about their progress over the years um which was positive for them and i'm home now that's positive and i've just made myself a cup of tea heated up a cup of tea in the microwave from the pot, Paul's upstairs, he's editing because I can hear chit chat and his voice on video. Yeah, it's time to relax. I do feel quite tired. Busy, busy, busy. That's the way it goes. So have a good evening yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Wow, another spectacular sunrise this morning. How lovely. And I was up in good time to see it because I woke at 3.56. 3.56. Can't quite believe it. Tried my best to get back to sleep. But it just wasn't happening. Um, so I lay in bed till... I think just gone five. And thought I may as well get up get up and make tea. So I did. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain. It's feeling very cool this morning and apparently we do have cold weather on the way. <sighs> Great. Well, it is winter after all. Nothing we can do about it. So yeah, nothing to report other than going to get breakfast shortly and get dressed, have a wash first. And yeah, another day, another day at work. I'm really feeling it this week. I really am. I'm feeling a little, a little stressed about a few things at work um, that I will need to address. Yeah. And when I say that, I mean, I'll have to raise it with my boss and whoever else. Um, because, yeah, I have a couple of concerns. <sighs> Nothing major, just to do with efficiency, let's say that. <sighs> Better not say too much. You never know who's watching. <sighs> so I'll see you later. Bye for now. <sighs> Thursday evening. <clears throat> it's felt like a long, long day today. It really has. Fortunately, it's not been too challenging at work. Uh, there's been quite a bit to do, but 
not particularly stressful. Uh, yeah, and I'm knackered now. So I don't have a huge amount to report. Weather-wise, it's feeling a little milder this evening, but I do believe it's going to get cold this weekend. So we may have a fire at some point. That would be nice. Uh, so yeah, there, there really isn't anything to report. Just a regular, regular day at work. Only tomorrow to get through, and then it's the weekend, thank goodness. But of course, the weekend means more work. Has to be done. Gotta earn that money. So yeah, there you go. That's it. I have nothing more to say. Goodbye. It's Friday morning. Yes. Thank goodness we've reached the end of the week. It is. It has felt like a really long week this week. Um, yeah, just a lot going on at work. God, this is not very flattering. Hey, I'm not sure why, but the video just stopped recording. So yeah, it's it's felt like a long week. Um, a difficult week in places. Um, and now, of course, I've got to look forward to a busy weekend where I've got to fit everything in, like everybody else. You know, I'm not complaining. It's, it's the way it is. But yeah, next week I am going to have to have a couple of days. I really need to get back to part time hours, to be honest. Working full-time is, is all well and good for extra money, and we do need the money. Uh, but it's taking its toll on me. Um, and I've really felt that this week, to be honest. That's okay. So, weather-wise this morning, it's very dull. Very dull and grey, and apparently is going to feel quite cold. Um, we've got some... Easterly, northeasterly winds coming in apparently because of the jet stream changing direction. So apparently today it's going to feel like about one degree at some point, and then we're going to have a widespread frost apparently overnight. That'll be nice. I like a frost. So I think this evening we may have a fire. I may have to build a fire when I get in. So, yeah. So, yes, I'm going to speak with my boss today and say, look, next week I will need Thursday and Friday off. Because I need it. That's it. I feel like I've worked my ass off this week. Which is fine. We're there to earn money. You know, some weeks are better than others. That's life. So, yeah, I better get a move on get washed and dressed, get myself to work for another glorious day at the office. <laughs> Anywho, bye for now, I'll see you later. Is it recording? Yes, it is. I just got in from work. I've still got my coat on. I worked late, but more about that later. I'm just about to clear out the fire. I need to give it a clean out and I'm going to set a fire. My old brush. Just going to give it a good brush out. Get rid of the ash, which is in the tray. I use these um, these bags, which we use for composting. They're compostable, so rather than using plastic bags, I'm putting them in the bins. That can go in the bin, and I don't feel as guilty then. 
So now it will rot down. I'm not going to brush everything else out at the sides and the back. I'm just going to make do with that so I can get the fire on as quickly as possible. Oh. I've been saving this paper from Amazon packaging. And this is quite good to make fire lighters. I tear it into strips. And then I twist it and tie it into a knot. And that's my fire lighter. I'm just gonna do a few of those and start small. I'm loose when I do these, very loose. So there's plenty of air trapped inside. It's really cold outside, really cold. So it's just the perfect night for a fire. And of course it's Friday night, so it's a, a celebratory night. The week is over and what a long week it has been. I'm just gonna bunch that one up. And I might even use a little bit of candle wax on top of these. We are, that's all in place. Let me show you. Oh, I can't see. Let me use the other camera. So they're all nestled in there. And I'm just gonna top that with a few bits of kindling and a little bit of candle wax. And then we can put some coal on. So I've got the ends of these, uh, oh, a bit out of focus there, sorry. Got the ends of these candles, dinner candles, that I'm just gonna pop and I make sure that they're over the tray so when they when they sort of melt they don't go onto the the bottom bit here, they go into the tray. So I'm just gonna nestle those in the paper like that. One there, and then just one there, I think. Get some kindling on top of that. Sorry, the light is so dim. It's not focusing very well. I shall come back once I've done it. So I've got some kindling on there and a few bits of coal. Now I just need to light it. I've also cracked the window open um, because that helps the, the drawing of the fire because you don't want smoke blowing back into the room. So I'm gonna get this lit now and then I'll come back to you. I'm just gonna light the paper. And hope that it lights. Oh, without burning me. Sometimes it doesn't light first time. You have to encourage it sometimes with a, uh, with the bellows. That paper's burning okay. That's good. I'm going to put the guard up now because it'll start to spit. I'll see you in a minute. So that's fine now. It's uh, on the way and I leave the fire guard there until the wood has uh, burnt off and stopped spitting. And hopefully some of the coals are hot and then I'll put some more coals on. I tell you, on this screen, this picture looks black and white. It's so sort of washed out. It's a shame really. Anyway, let's have a chat about today. Today at work, busy day. Never make the mistake of thinking that Friday is going to be quiet because Fridays in health and social care can either be completely and utterly like a graveyard or it can kick off, or unexpected things happen. So I was running late um, 
this afternoon. Pardon me. And um, basically the reason was a parent came into reception to complain about a situation. Obviously can't go into details. Um, and I was with her for about 15, 15 minutes or so. And it was coming up to half four and I thought, well, I've still got X amount of stuff to do. So I think I'm going to be late um, because I wanted to round the day off. I wanted to finish my work and I had several documents that needed to be uploaded. I'd also spent some time with my boss today because I needed to talk to her about the next few weeks of working. Um, so anyway, to go back to today, this afternoon, I decided to stay late. It was only for about 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Um, and that's fine. I'd rather get it finished and done so I can start the new week afresh without things hanging around. So anyway, to go back to my meeting with my boss, I have agreed to work a few four day weeks to help them out um, with a few Fridays off coming up to Christmas. The Friday before Christmas I've got off as well, which is good, but I'm working, as I said in the other vlog the other day, I'm working the Ealing days, which I've discovered are actually double pay plus a day in lieu. That's good, may as well work them. So I've agreed that, all fine. So yeah, it's all good. Um, you know, hurrah for extra cash. And that's fine, I've worked plenty of Christmases there, so I kind of know the score. And it enables me to get on with other admin tasks and tidying stuff, clearing stuff out, clearing a drawer out, you know, doing other things that need to be done that you just don't get chance to do. Because the typical day in health and social care is dealing with people's issues. You're dealing with people's lives and problems. And that takes priority over tidying one's drawers. <sighs> so there you go. Yeah, that fire's gonna be nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna build it up. So it's kicking out some good heat for the evening. Yeah, they say it's gonna be minus one tonight. So I look forward to hopefully a bright, sunny Saturday morning with some lovely pictures of frosty rooftops. <sighs> yeah, you know what I like. And I know what you like too. <laughs> you like my rooftop views, don't you? <laughs> I'm going now, start my evening, get changed in into some warm, um, wintry clothes. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow for a final daily vlog from a frosty roof. I don't know why that's made me laugh. I am Mary Poppins. Yeah. Bye. morning, Saturday morning. It's a beautiful bright morning, cold. We've had a slight frost on the rooftops. Uh, got up about seven. I mean, you can see that it's bright. There's reflected sunlight coming into this room. That's reflected from the houses opposite from their windows. Um, got up about seven. Um, Noticed that the embers in the fire were still glowing, so I decided to resurrect the fire. You can just see there. Very easy to do. I'm quite sure most of you know what to do. You just throw a little bit of paper and some wood, some kindling onto it and give it a blast with the bellows. It, it bursts into flame. 
stick a little bit of coal on. I'm just keeping it small, very small, just to take the chill off, basically. Um, so I put a wash on, uh, which will be doing for, I'm just watching the pigeon in the palm tree, eating the berries. Um, let me show you. Let's see if I can catch him. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He saw me. Yeah, so the washing is on. Um, so I need to hang that out when that's done. Got to get these, these vlogs put together. I did some of them last night. I thought, why not get ahead of yourself? So I did. Uh, last night was a poor night's sleep again. I think my sleep cycle must be messed up at the moment. I don't know why. There was a group of people in the street at one point. I have no idea what time it was, but it was late and they were making lots of noise. Sounded like they were coming from a house. So maybe it was a Friday night party. I don't know. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. So lots to do today. I'm going to crack on shortly. Do a bit of housework, a bit of tidying. Uh, and then we're seeing a friend for dinner this evening, which will be nice. And of course, we've got to film. We've got to film Sunday chat as well. Paul needs to pop to the library. Uh, so I think he's going to do that about 10 o'clock. Yeah. Time to crack on, so uh, thank you very much for watching another week of daily vlogs, which hasn't had a huge amount of variation to it. It is what it is, it's, it's a working week. Um, and I will see you for a Sunday chat. Toodle pip.